Today, we will talk about QRSAM. QRSAM is a quick reaction surface to air missile. Developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, BL, and BDL for the Indian Army to protect moving armored columns from aerial attacks. According to DRDO, currently, the QRSAM has 90% indigenous component, which is projected to increase 99% incrementally. It is capable of surveillance, target acquisition, and tracking, and can engage the target, while on the move. In September 2007, the Ministry of Defense approved an acquisition program for quick reaction surface-to-air missiles to replace obsolete OSAK and Quadrat missile systems from the Indian Army. DRDO project to develop quick reaction surface-to-air missiles was sanctioned in July 2014 with a budget of 476.43 crores Indian rupees. The missile was developed in association with BEL and BDL. In 2017, the Indian Army's Global Acquisition Program was dropped in favor of QRSAM. One regiment of QRSAM consists of a regiment command post vehicle and three batteries. One battery consists of a battery surveillance radar, a battery command post vehicle, and four combat groups. One combat group consists of a battery multifunction radar and a missile launch vehicle. Each launcher can carry six missiles. This means one regiment of QRSAM has 12 battery multifunction radar, BMFR, 3 battery surveillance radar, BSR, 12 missile launch vehicle, MLV, and 72 ready-to-fire missiles. Both radars are mounted on 8x8 high mobility vehicles and are capable of operating on the move in all-terrain and give 360-degree radar coverage. Battery surveillance radar uses C-band frequency, with a maximum detection range for 2 meter square RCS targets is 120 km, whereas battery multifunction radar uses X-band frequency, with a maximum detection range for 2 meter square RCS targets is 80 km. Both radars use state-of-the-art active phased array technology, combined with advanced signal processing and data processing algorithms to detect and track fixed-wing aircraft, UAVs, and helicopters in intense EW environments. Radar also has stabilized electro-optical tracking system. BSR is a surveillance radar, whereas BMFR is a fire control radar, but can track targets at a range of 80 kilometers. QRSAM is a mobile and compact weapon system. It uses solid fuel propellant and has a maximum speed of Mach 4.7. The guidance system is provided by an inertial navigation system, with a two-way data link in mid-course, and active radar homing in the terminal phase. The missile uses a 33 kg or 71 pounds prefragmented warhead, with a laser proximity fuse detonation mechanism to increase accuracy, and to ensure the missile can't be jammed. The missile has a maximum engagement range of 30 km, or 19 miles, at an altitude of 10 km, or 33,000 feet. The system has the capability to search and track targets while moving with six ready-to-fire canisterized missiles on a high-mobility vehicle that can be fired at six different types of targets. Its command and control system, target acquisition, and fire control are fully automated. The surveillance and fire control radars developed by BL. Both radars are four-walled configured to provide 360-degree coverage. The first test firing was conducted on June 4, 2017. On December 23, 2019, the missile was test-fired for the seventh time. It included two firings of the missile. With this test, the development of the missile was declared complete. On November 17, 2020, DRDO successfully test-fired the missile with a live warhead for the first time. Six flight tests were completed on September 8, 2022, where QRSAM intercepted high-speed maneuvering aerial targets with pinpoint accuracy under long-range medium altitude and short-range high-altitude conditions in quick succession salvo firing. The tests were carried out in the final deployment configuration, with all indigenously developed subsystems, including missiles with radio frequency seeker, mobile launcher, automated command and control system, surveillance and multifunction radars. After the induction of MR-SAM, QR-SAM, and self-propelled anti-aircraft weapons, 
The Indian Army armored columns will have three-tier protection from aerial attack. MRSAM will provide defense against ballistic missile and high-altitude targets. Whereas QRSAM will provide defense against low-flying targets, like medium-altitude UAVs, helicopters, and cruise missiles. Extreme low-altitude, or low-cost targets, like kamikaze drones, quadcopters, rockets, or any target missed by MRSAM and QRSAM, will be intercepted by self-propelled anti-aircraft weapons. That's it for today, see you in the next video.